Mom. Sorry. Mom is feeling a bit frisky today, um, <laughs> which is really kind of funny. Uh, but when I was doing the little sweeper. Anytime the sweeper was going, so in that footage, whatever I managed to get to salvage, because there's a lot of her just like laying there. Um, whenever the sa the sweeper is going, she like would run, but if I would stop the sweeper, she would like stop. Or like I mean, she would play. Um, but she's feeling a little frisky. She has been playing more lately. Um, the uh, <laughs> since her um, bed appointment, um, and I think it's because they gave her uh, a steroid injection. I think I'm gonna actually have to go back and look because we talked about several different things, and I know I should know off the top of my head, but there has been a lot going on. Um, and I will. And, and you may already know, because I may have already put the video up about her uh, appointment. But whatever. Um, she, they did some stuff. And it seems to have helped a little, at least. Because she um, is more active. And she is playing more. Uh, however, whatever they did to her did give her diarrhea. <laughs> I mean, it was just for a day. Like, it's kind of back to normal. But it was terrible. Um for a second. Oh my gosh, everybody is screaming. Pat's in the litter box. Pat always has to tell you when he's going to the bathroom. And then Sarah just got put back in. Um, that's why she's screaming. Uh, but she can't stay out. I mean, she's been out, like I've been cleaning and she's been out the whole entire time. So it's been over an hour. Um, and uh, she just gets irritated. But when they start like really rough housing, I have to put her up because they are the babies, especially Crispin, is too rough with her. Crispin will play with her just like uh, a regular cat. <laughs> like he doesn't understand the size. Whoa. And then the other thing that I'm doing today, and I don't know how this will go, I have taken the gates down from the kitten closet and um i have cleaned and put some stuff in here so they can uh, go in and out both blanca and amelia have smelled each other there was no hissing i don't a uh, blanca i knew probably wouldn't hiss blanca is real easy going uh, but i was not sure about amelia because she is protective of her babies uh, but she didn't she didn't hiss and i held Crispin and Pat up kind of toward the cage to where she could smell and she didn't uh, hiss at them either or growl. Uh, however, Crispin hissed. <laughs> Crispin did hiss, but not horribly. Like he didn't like get puffy and stuff like that. He just hissed and then went about his day. So I'm gonna see, I may just leave it like this for a day and then, um, let Amelia out, uh, supervise to see how that goes. Or I may, it's still early. It's only like 1.30 in the afternoon. I may do it this evening. It depends on how my day goes uh, because I have not been uploading very well. I've been filming, but I've not been uploading very well because all the stuff is happening. So I really have to get a video up. Um, so it just depends on how my evening goes, whether I do it today or in the morning. But I wanted to leave, I wanted to, I wanted to leave that open for a little while. Uh, so, you know, they could go in and out and kind of 
smell and see each other through the bars. So, okay. I'm gonna tell everybody. Say, I'm feeling a little bit better. Yeah. No, I'm not looking forward to her surgery, but they say it's really easy. Like, because it's in her ear, like, they don't have to shave her or anything. I mean, she does have to be sedated. Um, hey! So, they might have to shave her arm or however. I'm not sure how they do it, actually. I could just be making stuff up because I don't know that we didn't even talk about it. I just know she has to be sedated and they won't have to shave her because they're going in through... Uh, they're not sure about if they're going in through her ear or her mouth. They have to have her sedated to see um, which would be easiest. Uh, whoa, you two. But either which way. And I know that's silly to get like weird about them being shaved, but I do. <laughs> They moved. Before I could turn my camera on, they moved. Crispin was laying like on Panda sideways, and Panda was asleep, stretched out, and it was so cute. Oh, okay. I have to feed Sarah. I just wanted to see, show everybody how cute it was. Are you ready to feed Sarah? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Hold on, honey. I'm coming. We're gonna feed you. Oh, <laughs> what was that? Oh. Guys, look. I put this up this morning. It is now 11 o'clock at night. They were scared to death of it. First of all, Jericho, Panda, and Mom hid in the bathroom for several hours <laughs> and I then I sprayed it with the um that pet calming spray that I have and I think it's just because it's so big it is big it's giant like I had to stand on a chair to put this top part here together <laughs> um it's very very tall it's wonderful I love it um however I think it freaked out Everyone, what? Yes, are you enjoying your running around time? Be nice, be nice. Um, I'm letting mom out. But anyway, so I was over here trying to clean out mom's cage, and I looked over, and Jericho was up there. Good job. And Panda was watching Jericho, so I'm really hoping, um, that with Panda seeing that that he will um, try it too. Hold on. Man, I'm bummed. Um, cause Jericho, I came over here. I just stopped filming a second ago. Um, cause I had to feed little Miss Sarah. Yes, I did. And the whole time I was feeding Sarah, cause I was sitting here in front of the cat tree, the cat, uh, Jericho and both kittens 
we're playing on the new tree. And what oh, baby? I know. Oh, you got a milk mustache. I need to clean her up. Yeah, you're getting tell everybody you're about to get a bath, aren't you? Little Miss Sarah is about to get a bath because her back legs are awful. Um <laughs> And her face is not that great either. Um, and I am one of the reasons I'm giving her bath. Watch it. Oh, look. Do you see? Oh my goodness. I'm so filthy. I'm as I'm as dirty as Sarah. Um, one of the reasons I'm giving her bath is because her bottom is very sore uh, from all the wipes. What in the world? Are you stuck? No, you're not stuck. I see all your paws. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, what are you doing? And then Crispin is attacking me. Oh, it's just kicking off in here. Um, stop. Anyways, poor Sarah's bottom is so sore. And I think it's just from, um, the wipes and the poop. She, you know... Whoa, be careful. So, I'm going to give her, I'm going to give her a bath instead of using a wipe on her bottom. I have been using, um, this, the Boudreaux's butt paste. Greatest thing ever. Hammond time. Use my hand. Are you coming? Oh, here are you coming? Come on. Yeah, I am. Have we been, and, she, and you can tell she really likes it. Um, makes her butt feel better. But... You can only do that so much before it's bath time. What you doing, Mama? I would like to see you on the cat tree. Yes, I would. <gasps> what? Oh, y'all too. Behave. 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 I know. You can't have milk. Mama wants some KMR so, so bad. But she can't have any because it gives her, um... Oh, look, she's, she can't have any because it gives her like runny poop and sometimes a little bit of diarrhea. Hi, Jericho. And we're trying to get her poop as firm as possible. Oh no, I'm sorry, you cannot have any. I did give her a, um, what are they called, a, like a churro? Uh, they're not called churro, maybe they're called churros. I can't remember. They're like little squeeze ups that they love. I did give her one of those, didn't I? Yes, and she loved it. And next time I do it, I'm going to film it because I had never given any to um, the little kittens before, to Pat and Crispin. And, oh my gosh, they went berserk. Hey, Jericho, did you find you a new little cave? Did you find you a cave? Will this, be, this work better for you than the bathroom, I hope? I hope so. What? What? No, you can't have any. Mom wants milk. So I'm going to have to take the bottle away. And it's really funny because she knows when it's not in the room. Because if I go, if I go take it and put it in the refrigerator and then come back, she, she stops hollering. But she can smell it when it's in here. Hello, little book. You okay over there? You going to try the tree? You're probably going to wait until nobody's watching, huh? That's generally how you do things. 